Good evening everyone, Late Night Mega here, and tonight I'm super excited because we're playing Mega Man Super Fighting Robot. This is a fan-made Mega Man game, and it is very good, it's very enjoyable. I'll talk about how much I like it throughout the whole course of the game. Uh, so put on your PJs and prepare for some cliches. Speaking of cliches, we have the nice peaceful city. You can see the uh, plot on the bottom. It's much like the plot of any other Mega Man game. And so, uh, and here's our cliché exploding city. Hooray! So, there's, uh, in my eyes, there's four major Mega Man fan games uh, right now. There might be a few more that have come out that I haven't played yet, but the four major ones for me are Mega Man Unlimited, Mega Man Revenge of the Fallen, Mega Man Rock Force, and uh, this one, Mega Man Super Fighting Robot. Uh, this one would be, uh, out of those four, within the top three of the Mega Man. I've played other games, but uh, those are the, the premier four. To me, they got, they got the game physics uh, done very well, almost spot on, or spot on. Um, and they're just... They, they feel like a Mega Man game that belongs in the classic series uh, universe. And it's they're very good. So uh, you'll notice we have Proto Man here that's a bad guy in, in this series. And I like that for a couple of reasons. I like the Super Fighting Robot. Uh, where that comes from is there was an old 90s Mega Man cartoon and the theme song of it was uh, Super Fighting Robot. And they'd play that theme song about the intro, and also any time that Mega Man was uh, winning in the show. And, th and this is that theme right here. So it it's really cool. I love the throwback. And we're going to have this music on the uh, stage select screen as well. So I love its inclusion in this game. And I also like that Proto Man is a bad guy in this game because of the ties to the 90s cartoon. In the 90s cartoon, Proto Man was a bad guy. So that's a very nice touch to have that on here. We have uh, a whole bunch of controls and options and all this. I already have everything configured, although my controller is acting a little bit weird. Uh, what I would normally have for a start button is like not working. It feels like something is off inside of it. So I have a different button mapped to the start button. So if you see me kind of fumble around in the menus or, or not bring up the menu uh, right away, that's probably why I'm, I'm kind of getting used to that. I'm going to try and get that fixed, but uh, for right now for this playthrough, uh, this is what we're doing. So these are the guys that we have. They're all new uh, Robot Masters, all original design. Well, maybe some other games have used a Wizard Man or an Axe Man or something, but um, I, what I'm trying to say is they're not taken from the uh, Capcom's Mega Man games. They're not taken from Mega Man 1 through 10. So that's cool. We're going to start by getting trashed. And Trash Man, I, well, I shouldn't say he has my favorite weapon in the game. I love. I love a good portion of the weapons in this game. They're all a ton of fun, and that's another thing I think this game does very well. In fact, I'd say this has, uh, between this and Rock Force, uh, out of those four fan games they mentioned, I may be comparing those four a lot uh, as I play them out. Uh, either, either Super Fighting Robot or Rock Force has the best spe best and most fun uh, special weapons, in my opinion. I think I might give the edge to this game for a couple reasons, and we'll get into that when we get into the weapons. So, we're in this sort of trash yard. You can see we have uh, all these trash blocks that we can shoot. They don't hurt us, but we can stand on them, we can shoot them. They take two shots. We have... We have tombstones of, it looks like, some sort of robot masters. Or something. It's not really important. I, at first I thought it would be, but it's ultimately not. We also have bolts in this. You might have noticed the shop screen. And we have a charge shot. We also have a slide as well. So those are nice features to have, which you don't necessarily find in all of them. 
Uh, we also have B. We can we can press the shop button, and it gives us a nice uh, description of what our uh, items do and what our special weapons do. I love this, and it even gives us a nice little power, speed, uh, rapid, and cost factors down there. I love that. That is such a... it's a little touch, but it's a very nice touch. Uh, those are death spikes. So, now we're going to get into uh, some of this. Do I get those? No, no, no. Uh, I'm... I'm gonna get those. Why not? Uh, that's why not. Uh, no, I'm not gonna risk it. Change my mind. I can do that because I'm the one that's playing. If you want to play this game and go after those, you're welcome to. So you'll see enemies old and new. Uh, overall, uh, I find this game fun. You know, Unlimited and Revenge of the Fallen, those games are very challenging. Uh, challenging to the point where you wouldn't really feel like they would fit uh, with Mega Man 1 through 10 uh, as far as the difficulty goes. But this game, it feels like it could fit with that bunch. And uh, so that's one thing I like about it. As far as fun, the fun factor goes, I would give this game the highest fun factor out of all those games because this is a game where I feel I feel good about coming back to if I just want to enjoy a Mega Man fan game I don't want to play ah, I don't want to play uh, Mega Man 1 through 10 but uh, I don't want something as difficult as Revenge of the Fallen or uh, Unlimited this was the game that I turned to. I played through this game uh, two or three times. It's it's been a while though since I've played it. I have not played it since I started this channel, so uh, this could become interesting to say the least. And this guy, Sniper Joe, has homing attacks now. I I like that change. So nothing is too super difficult. I'm really glad that we can shoot those guys on an even level. But there's a lot of fun stuff. I mean, there is some difficult stuff when you get into the optional bosses. We're at the boss already. No, we're not. Uh, I lied. This is not the boss. This is just a bunch of super things. Now, once you beat the game, you'll notice that disc up there. There will be discs uh, like that scattered across the uh, game. And I'm, I'm not going to pick those up because either I have already picked those up or... I'm not interested. They, they'll give you special bonus features. You might unlock, uh, like, I don't know. We'll take a look at the bonus menu at some point, and I'll, I'll show you what all I've unlocked. Now, that we did pick up. We picked up the letter T, which stands for too much information in this first part. Because I, I there's so much I want to say, and I just can't keep up with it. So, uh, yeah, we have letters to collect, we have eight of them to collect, and we'll get something for that. I'm shooting something over here. Oh, I'm shooting trash. Of course I'm shooting trash, this is Trash Man stage. So yeah, this game is not overly difficult, but it's not, it's not to the realm of, of something that's super easy. I have played uh, a couple Mega Man fan games. I will call on one here. Um, the Mega Man Street Fighter crossover, which I'm really upset about. It's a game that Capcom endorsed it. And that's that's the thing that really made me upset, because in my opinion, Mega Man Unlimited should have gotten that endorsement. They both came out about the same time. Ooh, and we're at the boss. You can see the Proto Man app. And... Street Fighter uh, Mega Man crossover ended up getting the endorsement from Capcom, and I I tried the game. I played through three stages, uh, beat all three stages without getting game over or finding Robot Master weakness. It was so easy and boring to me. It, it was it was so easy it became boring, and I just put the game down and I have not picked it up. So you're probably not going to see me play it on here. 
You will see me battle Trash Man, though. Uh, I love the boss battle music. Now, the one thing I did do before, uh... Ah. Hey man, did not want to move that time. Uh, is I did do a couple, since it has been a couple years since I played this game, I did do a couple practice boss fights. There is a uh, spot you can go to in the menu uh, where you can fight the uh, robot masters and battle against them, and I am doing a terrible job. I always jump way too early on that, but uh, you saw all of Trash Man's attacks. It's a good challenge, it's a fair challenge, it's a fun challenge, and that's what I like in in this Mega Man game, is everything is fair, everything is fun, and I, I just enjoy it. And we get a nice presentation of our attack. And it shows us what it does, and we get the trash attack. It's insanely powerful. And, well, why don't I go ahead and show you some of this stuff. So, bonus, these are the discs that I've picked up. 1 HP mode, you start the life with 1 HP, so some of them make things really easy, some of them uh, make things, your attacks will all deal 28 damage, oh that's awesome. Uh, so there's some things that make the game easier, some things that make the game harder. There's one I haven't collected yet, I, I don't know why not. Let's save it. Uh, so yeah, we have save slots, we'll go to slot 4. No, there's something there. We'll go to slot 5. Slot 5. And it kind of shows us our progress, too. And there's a little skull in the bottom right corner. I did not know what that was through most of the way through. Uh, but we'll explain to that when we get there. So, uh, I mean, we had a jam-packed intro there. So we'll see you next time.